With opening night just days away, we caught up with Heritage High School students running through one of their final rehearsals for the musical 1776. But for God's sake, John, the story is based on the events surrounding the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the efforts of founding father John Adams to persuade his colleagues to vote for American independence. Junior Michael Wallace plays John Dickinson, a politician who refused to sign the Declaration over fear that it would lead to war with England. Why begin till we know that we can win? And if we cannot win, why bother to begin? He hopes the play will inspire students to take part in the democratic process once they're old enough to vote. I think, I think coming away from this show, there's going to be a lot more inspiration towards uh, the, the, the voting process, uh, especially for people who cannot yet vote. They'll be more excited to vote, I think, because it, in the show, it really highlights the importance of a single vote. Sophomore Connor Randall and senior Rowan Segura will each play Adams during several performances and Robert Livingston, who helped draft the declaration, during other performances. Ah, John Face Fox, if it would just read standing our way, it wouldn't be so bad, but look at yourself, man. Maryland, Pennsylvania, the entire South, it's impossible. It's impossible if we stand around here complaining about it. Connor says the play emphasizes the implications of how people solve political disputes. I've learned that fighting with words rather than fighting with actions is always how you get most things accomplished because there's a scene where two characters actually brawl it out with canes and nothing happens and a character actually falls ill and has to go home. So if there's anything someone should learn from this it's definitely to use your words and not let your anger control you. And as our current political dialogue in Washington, D.C. has grown increasingly partisan, senior Rowan Segura says there's a message in the musical about the power of compromise. You have to understand that everyone's different and that you have to work with them to get things done. You can't simply sit there and scream at them and tell them that they are not worth it and that they can't exactly work with you because in actuality, they're just as much important as you are. They are a part of this nation, and that's what we need to understand, and that's what this play portrays. I have come to the conclusion that one useless man is called a disgrace, and that two are called a law firm, and that three or more become a Congress. And by God, I have had this Congress. For ten years, King George and his Parliament have dulled, cullied, and diddled these colonies with their illegal taxes, Stamp Acts, Townsend Acts, Sugar Acts, Tea Acts. And when we dared stand up like men, they have stopped our trade, seized our ships, blockaded our ports, burned our towns, and spilled our blood. And still, this Congress refuses to grant any of my proposals on independence even so much as the courtesy of open debate. Good God, what in hell are they waiting for? Performances of 1776, the American musical, will take place on January 12th and 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. On the 13th, there will also be a 1 p.m. matinee. The final weekend of performances will be January 18th, 19th, and 20th with all performances at 7 o'clock p.m. <laughs>